Women getting hurt slash life ending mega thread. Nihil with I open a mega thread, post all kinds of videos where voids get hurt, and do these two things that I can say on YouTube. And y'all wondering why you gotta shift websites every three weeks. Yeah, welcome back to the echo chamber. Get your helmets, it's gonna be a stupid ride. We're going back into r slash in South Tears. Rage fuel. I hate good looking men so freaking much. I not literally oh what in minecraft was no longer a viable option want to freaking end every good looking man i see i am so freaking jealous and it makes me have an aneurysm oh trust me i'm getting one just by reading this my parents made me have dinner with them today and the place we ate at was filled with 20 year old chads with the stacy gfs it was so freaking pissed. How the freak can those F-words just be blessed with such a, a genetic luck? I actually wanted to do this then and there, or just get a bat and break the leg so that they will be my eye level. I hate seeing all of those foids in their little outfits trying to get this by chad. I freaking hate them all, and hope they all die a painful and miserable death. Yeah, meanwhile out here, I'm just hoping your family eventually sees your browser history so they know to take you off of the internet for good. Also, these are usually posted at really weird hours. Go to sleep, dummy, you got school in the morning. And God forbid anybody wanna try to do themselves up nice for a date. Update, barista girl that was nice to me now hates me and wants me to die a horrible death. I've been to the small cafe twice since I met her. At first, she was very nice, but now it's different. I see in her eyes that she thinks I am a creepy future mass M that does substances. I am none of these. The way she looks at me is completely different for no reason. It seems the more time she spent with me, very little time, the more her hatred grew. I saw her today and automatically thought she knows I am literally worthless and she knows I am a loser. I am depressed but also Burning with rage. Uh, how I could be judged so much for simply being me. And uh, no, I did not try flirting with her. I did not force any conversation, and the seldom small talk we did have was pleasant. Yeah, I'll tell you this right now, a little bit of a fun fact in case y'all didn't know, and no dingus here did not know. Service workers are nice because we're being paid for it. Very much don't try to start a, a standard everyday conversation like we're your bestest buddy, really. We're just kind of stuck there behind the counter because we're getting paid for it. I don't care if you're this dingbat or, uh, I don't care if you're this dingbat or a person on pension, retirement, all that jazz. Uh, please, like, I know that you might be a nice, pleasant person to talk to. Whether or not this person qualifies is still yet to be seen. Uh, but do not start up a standard conversation with us. There are people in the line that are behind you that probably won't be so pleasant in about a minute and a half. Plus, the last part about you saying you did not force any conversation. Look, starting up a conversation with a person who's being paid to do their job right then and there... Uh, yeah, we're kind of stuck there. The battle for Star Wars is over. The battle for Middle Earth is about to begin. Helm's daughter had a little less to do with the story of Tolkien's version of events, but War of the War Hiram is making a change. The screening revealed the newly dubbed Hera would take on a warrior's role, forced into a position of leadership following Hammerhand's decision. The character will call on an all-female tribe of fighters for help, transforming this Lord of the Rings tale into the sort of feminist story the franchise needs. I heard things about Acolyte going around, but I didn't really look into it because, honestly, I didn't really have much of an interest for many of the Star Wars sideshows. I only really like watching the main movies. But uh, the Middle-Earth thing, that's completely new for me. The stages of a leftist girl. 
Stage zero. She is happy, pretty, normal, and may even be Christian. One. Get into social justice. Two. Put Shli her in her bio. Three. Cones out as bisexual. Four. Cuts her hair short. Five gets depressed, slash, yeah, I'm not saying that for everybody's mental state. Six, she, they. Seven, substances, OF, etc. What does that have to do with expanding people's understanding of the Messiah? I'm curious why you waste time on this instead of focusing on topics regarding the Lord and salvation. It seems like a waste of time and does nothing further the mission of Christ. Not hating. Why do I post about this, you ask? Because my former friends who led me to Christ got sucked into this and became hollow shells of who they used to be. That is why. Well, friend, I'd recommend reaching out and preaching the good word, and try and bring them back into grace and salvation. I just don't see how this stops anything like this from happening to others. I once thought that a soft approach was best, but cultural degeneracy warrants a hard, fiery reaction. Oh, darling, your emotional roller coasters sound almost exhausting. The way you pine for him, crying at terminals and all, it's almost poetic. But let's cut the, the chase here, shall we? You talk about missing him and being excited to see him again, but we both know what truly ignites that fire in you. It's not just his charm or his one wonderfulness that keeps you coming back for more, is it? Let's be real, sweetheart. It is the anticipation of those stolen moments, those sacred rendezvous where time slows down and your sense awakens to a whole new level. You crave the touch, the heat, and the primal connection that electrifies every fiber of your being. Don't worry, I get it. I've seen it all before. The longing glances, the whispered promises, the hunger in your eyes when you finally meet again. You say you miss him, but what you are really missing is the rush, the thrill of surrendering to desire without reservations, and that's okay. Embrace it. Own it. Because deep down you know as well as I do that it's not about the wonderful man or the gratitude for fleeting moments. It's about that insatiable hunger for pleasure or a sensation or feeling alive in ways only he seems to awaken within you. So, Enjoy your flight home, darling. Rest up in your bed. Dream of him if you must, but remember it's not about the time apart or the sweetness of reunion. It's about how darn good it feels when you finally come together again in more ways than one. Yeah, a person posted it on r slash long distance and they woke up to getting this as their message, which is super weird. Yeah, here's the thing. Don't don't randomly message somebody like this. It's 100% weird. Dating apps for men today be like, ah yes, he who 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 funny memes, great job, ha <laughs> ha. You know, being locked, having the sub locked or the post locked, honestly, not surprising at this point. Why don't we get compassion? We are but a symptom of society faults, and yet we are witch hunted and belittled for no reason. The fact we are now everyone's punching bag is a little pathetic. Pathetic in the sense everyone's feels the need to punch down when we are already on the lowest rung of the social ladder. Being that low don't justify you being an absolute dongwad. 
It's not like we are committing crimes against anyone while we vent about our woes of life. What do you think makes us targets to people? Is it because we express our anger and sadness about being low-value men? It's insane that normies don't see us as humans and hear our pleads. And yet they expect us to be compassionate to a world that has betrayed us. If it was just a place for y'all guys to be venting to each other, then that would be one thing. But the fact that there are a couple of you that are extra stupid and actually go out and commit these crimes which are involving Pew Pew to other people, usually in mass groups, uh, that does not put you guys in a good light whatsoever. And the fact y'all guys don't condemn that or actually more so preach it is also stupid as shit. Because I'm fairly certain in this video alone, I've already passed like two or three posts that said people need to die. Going to a redacted is 100 times better than therapy for incels. Change my mind. As somebody who actually does have a therapist, very much does help, and going to somebody to do the under the sheet shuffle for about 100 buck not the same type of effect. But with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions, and if you guys have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. And I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye bye